Here we are, Dino and I in my backyard, California, next to one of my lawn sculptures, which is left over from my automobile restoration business. So I come out here and I test film on it, and I photograph it, I'm drawn to it like a magnet, and so we thought I'd sit out here today for the video. Today I have a message and some advice for photographers who are really starting to take things seriously, trying to pull themselves together, really get it together. There's a sad fact about camera manufacturers, and I don't think they want you to know about it. Most cameras made have only 93 to 95% viewfinder coverage. They don't want you to know that, so a lot of them don't talk about it, but I want you to do your homework, and I want you to check the camera that you're using for the viewfinder coverage specs. You see, if you use a camera that has 93 or 94% viewfinder coverage, that means you're going to get 6% more in the negative and in the picture than you want. You don't want 6% more. When I frame a picture, I want it to be exactly. If I want to cut off half of that leaf, I can do it with my 100% Nikon F3. There's no surprises later. What I see in the viewfinder is exactly what I'm going to get in the negative, and that's good. I don't want any surprises. Now, I know that doesn't sound so bad because you think you can crop it off, but it's very bad. What this camera is doing is it's messing with your brain. It's driving you crazy, and you don't even realize it. Oh, I'll get used to that camera. No, you're not going to get used to it. It's going to continue to mess with your brain. You see this, and you get something different back. That's horrible. It's bad for your subconscious because the subconscious is what's taking the picture. You're confusing the subconscious. You're confusing the tools that you have in your brain by using an inferior camera that lies to you. You've got to have a camera that shows 100% because framing is one of the most important things you do. Framing and focusing. Framing and focusing. But more than that, it's speed. And if you've got a camera that's lying to you and you've got to make up for it by moving your position around to suit the camera, you're out of luck. Everything is about being fast and being accurate and being precise and getting that focus right where you want it. Get the Nikon F, the Nikon F3, or do your homework and find other cameras that will show you 100% viewfinder coverage. We've got to dial ourselves in with the proper equipment. This is very important because you don't want to mess up your mind. So that's my tip. I hope it works out for you.